Today I'm going to show you one of the easiest and most delicious ways to make pork chops in your air fryer. I'll be using bone-in pork chops. You want to let your pork chops sit out for at least 30 minutes to come close to room temperature. I'm going to be measuring these just so you get a better idea. These are coming in at about three quarters of an inch or maybe just a little more than three quarters. After rinsing them, you want to pat them dry. To season, we'll start with salt and pepper. Salt and pepper here. Yeah. Do, 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 do. <laughs> all right, all right. Then some onion powder, some thyme, because who doesn't have time for a good pork chop? Okay, that was pretty cheesy. Some paprika, just regular paprika, and some light chili powder. I promise you, this is a great combination of seasoning. Now rub it all in. Make sure to really coat all the surfaces, including the sides. Before we do anything else, it's important to preheat your air fryer. We're going to preheat it at 400 degrees Fahrenheit or 204 degrees Celsius for 10 minutes. I'm using my Kasori Dual Blaze Air Fryer. Once ready, you want to lightly coat it with some avocado oil or oil of your choice. As always, use a spray bottle or brush. You don't want to use an aerosol can because those damage the coating of your basket. Got a lot of the items that I use on my Amazon storefront. You can find the link below in the description section. Place your pork chops in your basket. Try not to overcrowd them. If you need to cook them in batches, please do so. Usually I can only fit two at a time. So we're gonna start with these two. At 400 degrees Fahrenheit or 204 degrees Celsius, we're gonna start cooking these for six minutes then come back and flip them. After six minutes, we're gonna flip these over. Now I do have a dual air fryer, which means I've got coils on the bottom and top, but I still like to flip mine. I still recommend you flip them. We're gonna continue cooking them for an additional seven minutes or until the internal temperature reaches 145 degrees Fahrenheit or 63 degrees Celsius. Our pork chops are ready. Let's go ahead and check the temperature. I always recommend a thermometer when using an air fryer because every air fryer and thickness of your meat varies. So it's important that you use a thermometer. You can find them fairly inexpensive. I've got this one below in the description section. Stick around because after the second batch is done, we're going to cook my delicious honey garlic sauce. Once your second batch is done, make sure you cover them with aluminum foil and let them rest for at least five to 10 minutes. Now for our sauce. In a small saucepan, you wanna melt one stick of unsalted butter. Once melted, turn your heat down to low and add two tablespoons of fresh minced garlic. Next, I'm adding one teaspoon of thyme, one eighth teaspoon of red pepper flakes, same as chili flakes, just a pinch, here we're adding one fourth cup of raw honey. Mix that in until well combined. Now squeeze the juice of one small lemon. I'm also gonna add just a small pinch of fresh parsley. We'll save the rest for garnish later. I want to also slightly thicken it, so I'm adding one teaspoon of cornstarch. Whisk it in until dissolved and well combined. You wanna cook this for about three minutes and it'll be ready. All right, guys, so I went ahead and plated it. Now we're ready to add our sauce. You just wanna generously brush it all on there. Look how amazing this looks already. Wait until you have it with a sauce. It's great alone, but with a sauce, mm, it's so good, guys. Let's garnish it with a little bit of fresh parsley. Okay, let's go ahead and cut into it. See how juicy it is? Mm. So good. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a like, share with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for your support. If you haven't already subscribed, please be sure to do so below or hit my little picture on the side. Also, don't forget to hit the little bell to get notified of all of my new videos. And please be sure to check out these links on the site. Share with your friends. Thanks for watching and your support.